Pump and Seal is the only home vacuum sealing system that allows you to recycle ordinary glass jars by permanently resealing items in a powerful commercial strength vacuum over and over again. Pump and Seal also vacuum seals canning jars, bottles, soup or coffee cups, and tin cans. This commercial strength vacuum preserves coffee, cookies, chips and other dry foods and prevents rancidity of expensive nuts and cooking oils. Pump and Seal also uniquely seals a powerful vacuum into ordinary zipper locking and heat sealable bags. Now you can vacuum freeze fresh or cooked foods without freezer burn, color loss or nutrient loss. With Pump and Seal you'll also be marinating your favorite meats, poultry and vegetables in just minutes. To begin with let's go over what you received. First the Pump and Seal two red plugs, one foam block, one deflator stick, one hole punch, and 60 tab checks. Now some of you may have also ordered and received the bowl seal accessory as well. Now let's get started. In order to obtain a proper seal every time, you should only use jars with a soft seal ring on the inside, such as jam, pickle, and peanut jars. Be sure the soft seal area of the lid and the jar rim are clean and free of crumbs, then tighten firmly. There are countless items that you can reseal, but for this demonstration, I'm going to reseal one of my favorites, coffee. Using your hole punch, punch a hole in the flat area near the center of the lid. Then peel away a tab check from its clear backing. Center the black soft seal area of the tab check over the hole in the lid, pressing it firmly into place. Remember to make sure it's flat. Place the suction cup of the pump and seal centrally over the tab check and start pumping. When the knob retracts to within approximately one inch of its fully extended position, about 10 seconds or less in most cases, the jar will be vacuum sealed. By the way, jars with a great deal of empty space will require slightly more pumping. Rub your finger over the tab check to ensure a good seal. If the jar does not hold a vacuum, it may have rough edges or a damaged seal. If you discover your jar leaks, seal water in and tip it upside down. Bubbles will then show you the location of the leak. If you discover a leak at the edge of your jar, check for any roughness on the edge or dents in the soft seal of the lid. If there aren't any dents, dip the lid in hot water and try again. Now, if the leak is at the tab check, Remove any food particles that may have gotten under the tab check. Then either reposition the tab check or replace it. To easily open a pump and sealed jar, gently lift the black seal area of the tab check until the vacuum is released. If you plan to pump and seal certain jars on a regular basis, simply fold over or cut off one sticky side of the tab check for quick and easy access. It's that easy. Now here's a list of just some of the items you can now start storing in jars using your pump and seal. Let me show you now how Pump and Seal works on plastic bags. Remember to use only good quality zipper locking bags. Poor quality bags may not be airtight at the edges and will not hold a seal. Remove the red plug from the side hole of the Pump and Seal and place it in the bottom of the suction cup. Insert the clear valve end of the deflator stick into the hole where the red plug had been. On a smooth surface, wet a small spot. Then. Press the suction cup of the pump and seal down firmly. Pump and seal now supports itself. Then fill your freezer bag about half full with food. For this demonstration, we're using broccoli. But as you'll see later, there are a number of items you'll want to pump and seal in baggies. Then lay the bag flat on a folded terry towel. Next, 
apply a wide, thin layer of vegetable oil to the inside of the bag just below the zipper. Make sure the oil is spread into the seams of each edge of the bag. Insert the deflator stick into the bag between the pieces of food. When you're packaging juicy foods, such as meats, place an absorbing pad under the item. Most butchers will give you several pads just by asking for them. Then insert the deflator stick between the pad and the bag. It's always important to avoid sucking juices into the deflator stick tube. Then close the zipper from both ends to the deflator stick. Now take your foam block, place it on top of the deflator stick just below the zipper. While squeezing the foam around the tube and bag, begin pumping until the bag has pulled firmly around the food. If the bag pulsates while pumping, squeeze the foam tighter around the tube. While keeping the foam pressed down, quickly pull out the tube and zip the bag shut. Be sure to smooth it flat along the oiled area. Make sure the oiled area stays smooth and flat since this is where the vacuum seal actually takes place. Once your bag is sealed, finish zip locking the bag to complete the closure. Remember to always keep the oiled area just below the zipper smooth and flat or neatly rolled to prevent the loss of your vacuum. To protect the pump and sealed bags when freezing, place them in a larger Ziploc bag, then place that bag in the freezer. It's not necessary to pump and seal the larger bag. If your bag doesn't seal, it may have a hole in it. To check, fill the bag with air, hold it underwater, and see if it leaks. Or better yet, just try another bag. They're usually pretty inexpensive. Here are just a few of the foods you can now protect in zipper locking bags with your pump and seal. Now I'd like to show you how you can instantly marinate some of your favorite foods and vegetables. For this demonstration, we're going to marinate a cucumber, tomato, and onion salad. Pre-cut your cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions, and then place them in a large mouth jar. Cover the salad with your favorite marinade or dressing, then tighten the lid. Pump and seal your jar for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. Taking the air out causes your dressing or marinade to bubble. When the bubbling stops, let air back into the jar by releasing the tab check. You see, letting the air back in draws the dressing into the pores of your vegetables, marinating your salad throughout. It's that quick and easy. With the optional bowl seal accessory, you'll be able to marinate chicken, fish, or meats in just minutes. Again, cover food with your favorite marinade. Place your bowl seal on top of the bowl. With your tab check in place, Pump and seal your bowl, extracting all of the air. Again, your marinade may bubble as the air is taken out, but not as much as with the vegetables. In about 10 minutes, release the tab check, allowing that air to be restored. As the air returns, your marinade will be absorbed into the chicken. You may repeat the procedure for stronger flavor. And then, you're ready to cook. I can't tell you how great your food will taste after you marinate it using pump and seal. Now that you have a pump and seal, you'll also be able to protect all types of non-food items, such as matches, silverware, paints, and photographic chemicals, just to name a few. Before I close, I want you to keep a few things in mind. The pump and seal system will help maintain flavor and freshness, lengthen shelf life, eliminate freezer burn, and deter rancidity. However, it's not intended to replace conventional methods of long-term, unfrozen food preservation, such as canning. I hope this tape has shown you how simple, fun, and useful your new pump and seal can be. By the way, for additional tips, hints, or easy reference, please refer to the instruction pamphlet that came with your unit. Have a great time, and on behalf of Pump and Seal, I'm Joe Fowler.